rule out the medical stuff, then we deal with the emotional stuff. Okay, thank you. You're very welcome. Okay, we are now going to go to Miriam. Miriam, online too. Hello. Yes. Yes. Okay, I'm calling about the midnight, midnight, the midnight rally. Yes. Um, just to say from the other side of the coin, from people who need help. Yes. That when somebody doesn't take any money, it's not uh, the people that need help don't feel so secure, and that it's like. Because they take money, it makes them feel much more trust, to have much more trust. In other words, you're saying that they have trust to spend the time because they know they're getting paid? Is that what you're saying? No. The, from the other people that that are reaching out to the Midnight Rabbi, the people that re are reaching out to people that should help them. Yes. So from that side, I'm saying... So you're saying there's more trust in the person that doesn't take money, like if someone's doing it for free? No, 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 no. No, no, I'm I have only had my friend with me in the room. He's telling me, no, I'm not getting you clearly. So I'm sorry. This okay. is just good. Let's put more so words in it so I can get it. validating that from also from this side, not yeah. only what you are saying, but yeah. from the people on the other side, I have, let's say, an experience from me, from other people, that if somebody doesn't take money, it's like it takes much longer to trust that person. Just ah. like you go to somebody from life for license and, and doesn't have any license, but... Right, so you can Whatever. trust them more because when you're paying, you know you know that they're there for you. And then the creep, and then if that, that person takes money, it means he, yeah, he's really here. For, he's like committed yes. to it. Yes, I can be there. Like you're supposed to be there. I'm giving you something. Be there for me. Now, yes, isn't this sad? That, yeah. Isn't this sad? Because what happens with this midnight rabbi? That's why I spend so much time on it. Is because so many people that I speak to they tell me they want to be a therapist. They help people, and I tell them that's fantastic. But when you help people and you weren't getting money, how are you when you're going to start asking for money? Because somewhere as a therapist, you're going to have to start asking for money. He says, oh, I can't ask. I can't do that. I said, then I feel bad to tell you, but unfortunately, this field can throw you out. You can have the greatest heart in the world, and it's going to do that. And it's so sad. This midnight rabbi, I'm, I'm in touch with him for over a year now, at least. And we, he called once in, and I followed up with him. We've been emailing each other questions, this and that. And 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 I feel bad to hear this news that he's not working. So, yeah. So what I'm try also trying to say is that I don't think it's anything that the people that help. I don't see they should be. They have to go through the process first, not to take money, and then learn on their own. Um, you know the consequences because there's no way. I see all the people start um, without taking money. It's just that the, the for me to give support for those that are listening, that I want to go, that I want to help people that. They should know that the people that come to them, the people Thank that you. are... So, Midnight so Rabbi, not... you have over here Miriam from Line 2 calling in to tell you that by you charging actually will help the kids, the teenagers feel better, feel more a trust in you, and even the parents will probably feel more a trust because they know they're giving you $100, and it's not a lot. He hangs around a lot of boys at a time. So if a father It's only knows, a matter of a first rejection, like, oh, money, no. But it's just the first, the first response. That's but right, or the first couple. But once he'll have four parents that will say yes, four or $500 yeah. a week coming in, he loves it. This guy's neshama's pure helping people. I, I met him. I said, wow, beautiful. I want to thank you for that, okay. validation, for that validation. Thank it, you. It, it really means a lot to me. And to hear the people on the other side of the coin also validate that. Thank you. Thank you, Lemmy. Bye. The number to call in is 718-683-5858, 718-683-5858. Um, here we go over here from on the Lakewood Scoop. What's your suggestion for single, for single mothers that children ask questions like, where is Tati, or when can we get a Tati? How does one respond to that? Wow, that is a heavy one. And if there's a divorce, there's one answer. If the father was nifter, there's a different answer. And that means if the... If the if there's a divorce, what we I usually try to sort of tell them is that mommy and Tati had some difficulties or whatever happened that we're living in two different houses and here's where the butt comes in. We both love you unconditionally at all times. You ever want to go to Tati? We'll try to work it out. You want to go to mommy? We'll work it out. We'll get them on the phone. We love you. You're not the cause for the divorce. Very important for the kids to hear it because they'll always feel cause.